Pembrolizumab has been in many combinations. Uh, relatively few of them have matured. Uh, the most interesting ones to me and to most of my colleagues are the phase three studies of pembrolizumab with TVEC or without, or pembrolizumab with epicatastat, the IDO inhibitor, or without. And since PFS is the endpoint, at least of the uh, pembro epicatastat trial, we'll probably hear something within the year. Uh, could be as early as ESMO, but perhaps it'll be uh, next year at ASCO. Uh, if that's a positive study, that would be very impressive because let's say the uh, one and two year survivals are projected to be as good as Ipinevo, which means 64% two year survival, which are the updated data for Ipinevo. Let's say it's around 62% two year survival. Uh, given the very favorable toxicity profile, a lot of docs will want to use pembroepicatastat front line, which then brings up the issue, what if you fail, and half those, or half or more of the patients will fail in the first couple of years, what do you do then? Do you just use single agent IPI? Do you go IPI NEVO? And it suggests that we should be paying attention to IPI combinations. You know, IPI was always the bad guy. It was useful with NEVO or PEMBRO. But other than that, you know, single agent IPI, not that popular. Well, if Pembro epicatastat becomes a frontline treatment of choice, then we have to start thinking about what would you combine with IPI? IPI TVEC? IPI TVEC in the randomized phase two study of 188 patients presented at ASCO this year had a 30 plus percent response rate. That's pretty good. Uh, we don't know the long term outcome, it's too early, but that would be a potential second-line choice if Pembro epicatastat became the first-line choice.